Hey there YouTube, welcome back to Drake Array Gaming. I'm gonna get you fixed today. I know if you've been having issues with the crashing, the black screen, the error messages on Modern Warfare 3, we're gonna get you fixed today. As usual, no BS, no fluff. Here we go. All right, I got a list of things that I wanna make sure that we don't miss, so let's jump right into it. So first of all, I know, just, I know, we gotta get through it, but just make sure you have your Windows updates done, your graphics drivers done, all that fluff out of the way. Just type in update or check for updates. Go ahead and click check for updates and, and just make sure you're up to date. Make sure you're looking all good here. Uh, go ahead and check for your graphics driver version. You can easily do that in the GeForce panel or going online and downloading them. But one of the easiest ways to click drivers there, check for updates and make sure you have the latest driver installed. Now, the latest driver may may not work as well for uh, Modern Warfare 3. Sometimes they do put out a specific driver version uh, and tell you to uh, install that specific driver version. Now, if you want to try a specific driver version, what you want to do is go into your device manager and we want to go to display adapters and we want to uh, go to properties on our actual graphics card. You see my NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 there. You can click driver. Now you can get your driver version right here. The date it was released, everything you need to know is right there. Um, you can also uninstall from here. And when you do this uninstall, um, you. I highly recommend that you check uh, this box here to permanently remove the device and not remember it because when you reboot the system, it's gonna save that old driver, remember it, and pre prematurely reinstall it as you're trying to install the driver version that you need. So you kinda wanna check this box and make sure you completely gut it out if you're gonna run a different driver version or an older driver version. Uh, sometimes Call of Duty will put out, hey, we approve and recommend this driver version or NVIDIA will also state that for Modern Warfare 3. It's not always the latest one. Um, so this is how you do that. This is how you uninstall it permanently and then you install that version that you actually, you, you want that you're looking for. Now you can get those specific driver versions off NVIDIA's website right from using their NVIDIA driver search. So you can go right in here and search specifically for the driver version you're looking for. Um, and then they'll have the versions listed all right here with the date. So you can try a specific driver if you'd like. That would possibly help you out. Now that we've got the Windows updates out of the way, we've got the driver version, the graphics driver versions out of the way, or you're running the one that you want. Um, you want to make sure that when your system boots up, you're running, you're getting rid of all the running background processes, um, whether it's in your task manager here, down here, uh, etc. But the best way to honestly do it is to go into your task manager and by typing M S config m-s-c-o-n-f-i-n-g f-i-g sorry m-s config and this will bring up these two things now what you want to go to is your services and look at what's running in the background i highly recommend checking hide all microsoft services and going through here one at a time and looking at your services that are running in the background and enabling or disabling these by checking the box or unchecking the box and clicking apply and okay as you can see, I'm only running my Easy Ante cheat, my NVIDIA framework, like my Synapse and software for my mouse and keyboard, you know, my Razer software. Um, but everything else that I didn't need, like my Rockstar stuff or my other game clients, my Samsung hookup for my phone or anything I didn't, you know, remote desktop services, etc. I'm only turning on and using what I need and I'm controlling my services within Windows, hitting apply and OK. Once that is done, the other thing you can go do I'm going to pull up this menu real quick and it is your startup and but you have to go to task manager to do that. So what I do is open up task manager and then you want to go to your startup app. OK, and so what this is going to show you now is all the applications that start up when your system boots up and et cetera. We don't want to be running anything in the background, any extra apps or services that are going to interfere with the game um, as well as overlays, which we'll get into in a minute. So as you can see, everything I'm going to sort it by status. You can see I have a lot of things disabled that I don't need on this system anymore that I uh, and I'm and that I'm only running these few things that I need my antivirus, my little custom start menu I have here. Um, my audio manager and my mouse and keyboard peripheral manager and everything else is controlled by me on what I boot up on my system. And we've gone through our background services and now we know we're good. OK, now that we have our system set up, our driver set up. Now we need to jump into some other items. We want to go ahead and if you're using Steam, you can right click on the go to properties, go to installed files and then click verify integrity of the game files. It's really, really important that you do that before we get started. Um, you also want to go to Battle.net. You can do the same thing here. We can open up Battle.net. We can right click. We can go to our games. We can go, uh, go to Call of Duty. Go down to the gear icon here. We can go check for updates, obviously, but we can also do a scan and repair. So this is also what we want to do. And to get to game files, there's a show in Explorer as well to get to those game files. 
Now what we want to do that we've scanned and repaired or verified the integrity of the files in uh, either Battle.net or Steam. We want to go back in there and like I showed you, we want to go to the local files for the game. Um, so in Steam, this is how you would do it. Uh, look for the COD application here. The, it's about 495 megabytes. And what we want to do is do show more options or properties. We want to go into the compatibility tab and you want to make sure you're running disable full screen optimizations as well as running this program as an administrator to give it all the rights it needs and access to the files that it needs to make sure, depending on how your system's set up, make sure it has access to those files so it doesn't crash or black screen or make your system blue screen, et cetera, you don't have any problems. That's how you do it in Steam. Now, if you're looking at doing it in Battle.net, you click on the gear icon down here. You wanna click Show and Explorer. You wanna do the same kind of thing. You wanna to go to the Show More Options slash Properties feature for the launcher, Compatibility tab, and you wanna make sure this is disabling full screen optimizations and running as administrator. Apply and OK. Let's move on to the next thing. One of the big, big things that makes this game not work very well at all is the game overlays. Whether it's NVIDIA game overlay, um, or it's the Discord overlay, etc. So what you want to do is go to your settings, general, and you want to go down here. As you can see, you got this NVIDIA game overlay. We don't want to be we don't want to be running this. So what you want to do is actually disable the in-game overlay for Modern Warfare Call of Duty, or in general, just at all. You can just disable it for any game in here and just just turn it off. Um, if you're having issues with the game, I seriously recommend turning off all your overlays inside. Uh, NVIDIA as well as Discord. Now, a lot of people will say, and a lot of other videos were saying, you know, you can just delete the documents folder or, or uh, uh, scan and repair the, the files and it'll fix it. Now, if you're having major, major issues, the only thing that's really going to fix it is not an uninstall and reinstall. Because what happens, the system actually leaves behind a bunch of other shader files and cache folders and locations and all this stuff. So it leaves behind a lot of CRUD. And when you reinstall the game, it's using those same CRUD files that got left behind. All it really does is uninstall the game, but the shader files, the cache files, all these things, um, and it's very easy, it's not complicated. Let me just show you where those locations are at. So when you uninstall the game, make sure you delete all these files and folders, reboot your computer, then reinstall the game fresh with all these fresh files, force it to load all these new shader and cache file folders and locations between NVIDIA, DirectX, and the game itself. This is critical. If you have any major, major issues, please try this. It's gonna be worth your time. to will probably fix your game. Let me show you where those file folder and locations are. So the first ones we want to do before, um, so go ahead and uninstall the game. And then what you want to do is go into these locations to make sure they're no longer there. Um, what you want to do, one of them is in your documents folder. So you want to go to documents, call of duty, and this players folder. And there's a lot of different things and settings in here and whatever. Now this probably will reset your campaign progress, possibly maybe depending if you're playing campaign, um, but you're going to have to take that risk if you want to get your multiplayer to work and all these other things to work. So I recommend after uninstalling the game, if there's leftover files here, go ahead and just delete this folder in the documents folder. The other locations you're going to want to look at is deleting the uh, NVIDIA uh, cache folders. So we're going to want to go to your user profile. So it's going to be users and I can show you from scratch, but it's users Draco was my me then app data local nvidia and there's just DirectX cache this nvidia backend gl cache all kinds of cache and files in here for windows DirectX as well as your nvidia graphics card uh, that the game utilizes so there's a bunch of saved things here that we just want to gut and get rid of for the sake of it to make sure that we're getting our error fixed again you'll go to your computer c users myself then we're going to go to app data local and then we're going to go to NVIDIA. And then you can see these cache files and folders here. Here's the location here. Okay, get it, get rid of it. Get rid of the documents location, get rid of the NVIDIA file location. Make sure uh, you double check the locations where the game was installed. So this will be like, I have it installed on my E drive, Call of Duty. We'll want to go in there and make sure everything is gutted out of there. If you're doing it in Steam, right click again. Uh, so your, your local files where it's installed, so this location, so it's your Steam library, Steam Apps Common, Call of Duty HQ. Go in there, make sure it's all deleted, delete it out. Once we know there's no traces of the game left after we uninstalled it, we're going to go ahead and reboot our computer. Once your computer reboots back into Windows, go ahead, reinstall the game. Maybe even reinstall to a different location if you'd like. Force it to do everything fresh from scratch. And then you're probably not going to have any issues with the game. If you have any further issues, stay tuned because I'll have more fixes in the future. All right, one more great tip and trick I can show you also is you can get this to actually run 
uh, in a high priority and force it to be at the top of your PC's priority list. So, all right, so my game's running, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna back out of this and I'm gonna open up the task manager. Right, so now that we're in the task manager is we wanna go into the actual details tab here because you're not gonna be able to access this otherwise. We wanna find the game and there's two exes that are running, but we wanna find cod.exe first and we wanna set the priority over here to high and keep it there. And we wanna make sure that it's at the top of the priority list for the CPU, et cetera. Now you can get uh, into some more um, complex uh, prioritization by actually going into the processor affinity and assigning which processors are working on the game. Obviously all of them, you can click all processors and click okay. Um, I would probably recommend that. If that's not helping, you can try to lower it and see if that helps as well. So this is also something you can tweak. But we're gonna go ahead and run all CPUs in, in the affinity and set priority to high and you wanna change that priority. And then you can go back into your game and you probably have some more stability there. I hope this video helps you out get fixed and all your Modern Warfare 3 crashes resolved. I'm Draco Ray here to help the gaming community. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.